In 10th grade, or maybe it was 11th, um, when I was in high school, we studied the Scarlet Letter. And I was raised in a very devout, conservative Mormon home. And it's really weird that my reaction to reading the Scarlet Letter was to think that Puritanism was so much like Mormonism. One of the quotes uh, that we learned when we were studying Puritanism in that class was by H.L. Uh, Mencken. He said that Puritanism was the haunting fear that someone somewhere might just be happy. And I remember writing that down, probably in my journal, and crossing out Puritanism and putting Mormonism. <clears throat> when I went to college, I decided that I had been rebellious <clears throat> and that I'd been a bad daughter. Um, because of the abuse at home, I'd run away. The stake presidency had gotten involved, persuaded me to go home. But I had thought it was my fault, like most abuse victims do. And so I decided to repent. And I know now that's called religious scrupulosity. So I turned my life around. I became Orthodox Mormon. Everything that my mother and father had wanted. Now I'm 50 years old. And I see that that 15, 16 year old girl was so damn smart. So emotionally intelligent. So perceptive. And I'm glad that I knew then what I'm learning again now. So don't discount your teenagers, LDS parents, when they start seeing the bullshit. And listen to them. Because one of the ways that I coped was with suicidal ideation. You don't want your kids to go through that. I can't tell you how many times I came close to doing it. And uh, I'm looking forward to causing all the nightmares of all the Puritan and Mormon forefathers. Somebody somewhere is learning to be happy.